Hey, what's up? John from Dowie Farm. Just going to go over some cilantro stuff um, that we uh, have talked about here. Let me turn these lights on. Bam. Um, so I did a video on cilantro a while back about how to get six-ish ounces, five to six ounces of cilantro out of a flat. And um, since, I've had some issues and I've learned some things that I want to share. So I've got some growing up here that you can see. Here we go. Look at that. It's beauteous. It's beauteous cilantro. I don't know if you can see in the shot. Really good. Yeah, maybe you can. All right, cool. I planted that stuff on 415. Today is 427, so we're 12 days in on that. All right. If you can see that label right there, that label. All right. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're getting it at about, about two more days. That's going to be perfect, but I will cut that today. Um, and I have cut some of it today, and this is up close. We're looking at it, and that's about the earliest you want to cut it. I don't really have any true leaf yet, but I, uh, I did have some other stuff that was older that had some true leaf, and I'll throw a photo of that in uh, during this video, probably right about now. So, uh, <laughs> but I want to kind of walk through my new process. I was still getting some rot with my, um, my cilantro in my soaking seed process that we talked about, and uh, so several people thumbs down for um, apparently no reason because they have no life. So uh, here we go. I've got some here that was soaking now for a few days. Um, I think I soaked this about three days ago. And I'm going to show you something about what I've got, like what I've got going on here. I'm going to pull this paper towel off and you're going to see some root development, but you're also going to see a little fuzzy mold that I have growing on my cilantro right there. See that little bit of mold, but you can see the uh, root development hopefully in the shot there. Um, now that happens and uh, I would pull that spot out get rid of that if I were you, which I'm going to do. And then you're going to see that underneath this strainer, I've got some water that has dripped out over the days. Um, I'm going to lose that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is I have this, this nifty strainer that'll hold a good uh, 12 ounce uh, whack of uh, cilantro here where I'm going to, and I'm going to throw this towel away by the way, because I said mold on it. Donzo. So, so what I'm getting is uh, six hour soak and, um, like I said before, six hour soak, and I'm gonna get it with some peroxide, which is not something I usually use, but we've been having some problems. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'll mix in some peroxide. So <laughs> let me get back to that one in a second. I'll walk you through the procedure. I know I'm all over the place sometimes, but people are gonna have to deal with that. My adult ADHD. I think there's the word adults in there, but whatever. Um, so I've got a 24 ounce shot of cilantro seed all measured out here. And that's going to be enough to do 16 flats, okay? Um, 16, 10, 20 trays. And what I'm doing now is I'm bringing it over to my sink, and I'm going to get hot water going, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to rinse these, so I'm going to run it right into there. All right, for now, until I get the hot water going. And I actually run out of hot water all the time, so I got this nifty little water heater I'm going to be putting in soon. Pretty cool. You can get to see that. I've got a new camera here, so I'm kind of like, always got a new camera. Every time I shoot a video, it's a new camera. New phone. This Galaxy, great camera, but uh, whew, weird to get used to. Okay, so I got warm water now, nice hot water, aiming for 120 degrees, but uh, I know it's probably not there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna bother trying to measure that until I get the new water heater hooked up. But I'm gonna get this stuff going with some nice swirly action. All right, here we go. And we're gonna let that thing fill. Oops, that was stupid. And I just cleaned the sink, luckily, so I can pull that back in. So I like with the... Um, with this colander, if you can pull off this colander and this container, I mean, this is a Tupperware container you get at Walmart for 12 bucks, and this colander was like 15 on Amazon probably. I'll link to it. Um, <laughs> the, the colander, as you'll see when I show you my second phase here, is um, makes it so you can just run this water mm -hmm. in this uh, with this seed, and it won't, um, it won't go over the edge. You can just run it and run it and run it. It's pretty cool. So I've got that filled pretty good, enough to cover the seed, all right, and I'm just kind of swirling it around here so that I can make sure that it's all kind of under, and then I'm going to take my peroxide, and I'm going to put about, I just got regular, listen, I haven't bothered with the food grade yet because this is experimental still, but I'm just going to dump it in there, about half of that thing, okay, sure. So I'm going to do this twice. That's the catch. This is what's different, I think, about a lot of things. So, And you can see it already kind of, it's already kind of foaming up. And the, and the more you stir it like this, the more you're going to see it foam. 
you know. Um, but wait till you see this other one. It's insanity. Like, because this thing's been soaking. It's in, it's crazy how after they soak for a few days, uh, the, the peroxide goes insane. Here we go. You ready? Watch this. Okay. Can you see? Ready? It's nuts. It's, it's like a science experiment. I'm just going to hit these direct so you can see how much it foams. I do this quite a bit just because I like to watch it. I need a little more. I go through a lot of these now. Here's another half. Another half bottle. Oh, here we go. You ready? Look at this. It's freaking nuts. Look at this. Yeah, what's up? So, I'm going to get that out. This is going to, like, grow. It's crazy how much stuff develops in this uh, soaking seed, you know. And uh, now I'm going to run hot water into this thing. And I'm going to get that water up. And you, I wish you could see it here, like, live. It's kind of hard to see the effects, but it's it's foaming up big time. I'm going to run that water in because if I don't, this thing will literally like the volcano experiment in high school. Just go up over the edge. Um, but what I'm finding is with the two soaks of peroxide with warm, hot to warm water, 120 is ideal. And the peroxide both times for five minutes is getting me 100% results, like no rot. Unless, I mean, later on I get some rot sometimes if I have to leave it on the shelf too long, you know. But anyway, so we're there to the edge, and you can see how this toner works great for this. Um, I'm bring it right up to the top, pretty much. And I'm going to swirl it around. And, and when you swirl it, it, like, it really gets gets it in there, you know. And I know there's some science here about oxygen pulling off the something, something, blah, blah, blah. I'm not that guy. So I just know what works. All right, all right. So, I'm going to have this thing go for five minutes, is what's going to happen. And, tomorrow I'm going to plant that one. Because it's going to be too wet to plant today. It's kind of a pain in the ass to plant it right away. But, on day one, I will now... So, if you watch my other video, I take my 12-ounce cilantro seed, and I soak it for uh, six hours. And then I drain it at six hours, and I cover it with that paper towel, and... I just let it sit covered and I don't let it dry out for, man, this camera is just jacking off. I don't like it. Stupid camera. Um, it's like focusing wrong and stuff. Stupid thing. Anyway, so where was I? Been a long day. Been a long delivery day. Um, so we, oh, okay. Paper towel. <laughs> let it sit for, it's about three-ish days till you start to get the tails on the on the uh, cilantro about, you know, eighth of an inch long, nothing special. Um, and then the day before you're gonna plant it, hit it with a second peroxide soak, and I'm getting awesome results, and I haven't had any problems since. I'm getting at least four ounces to a flat with a one and a half ounce dry seed weight. All right, I forgot to set the timer. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. Secretary. So, um, yeah. See, it's still foaming away, the one, the older one. And then the newer one is also foaming away some. Get that little stirry stir. And, and now, like I say, five minutes. I say 120 degrees. Now, like, we all know that's not crucial, like, right on. All right? I hope we all know that nothing I do is exact. So, uh, but, yeah, I'm getting great results over here on the shelf, as I showed you in the beginning of the video. Here I am. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah. Awesome stuff. Good stuff. I probably could have seeded this a little thicker, but I've been having some other issues, so I haven't been trying to seed stuff so thick. Um, I've been having some some problems with some stuff growing, and uh, I've been having some issues in the room. Um, I added this air purifier thing from the Home Depot, and it was very not cheap. Um, I had some die off, some rod. I had some issues with my peas. I think I had a batch just go wrong, and then I let it stay in the room, and it was a bad idea. So it's just my stupid mistake. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing with my cilantro. So once I complete this this uh, sanitation step at the five minute timer that Alexa's gonna tell me, I will run that water just for a long time because I can with that setup. So it's like good to have that setup with that strainer and the, um, the, the tub that the strainer fits into and the strainer goes above the lip of the tub by a little. So you can just run water, run water, run water and it'll just flush your seeds out. <laughs> so it's good stuff. And then when I plant it, now, okay, let me move on to the next step, sorry, there's more, there is more. 
Um, but I'm not going to include this in this video completely because I am shooting some real intensive, detailed videos right now um, that are about 15 minutes on each crop that are just go really into the nitty gritty of each crop. And uh, I'm going to be uh, starting a site where you guys can pay like a little bit of monthly membership -y money. It's going to be cheap and just get tons of knowledge because there's just so much when it comes to microgreens that you really just can't squeeze into a video that is YouTube friendly, you know. Um, so where was I? Oh, so when I plant, I know I'm staring at all my planted greens. Like it's going to help you if I stare at these planted greens. <laughs> so when I plant now, I'm planting uh, my soil, soak it. I'm up to 70% per light because I'm going into summer here and I'm going to try to automate my watering with automate automation on the pumps, like or, uh, just, just have them go off every day at a certain time. And uh, with more per light, I'll get better drainage. So I'm 70% per light to soil now. Um, and then I'm planting on the top like normal. And then I'm sprinkling with some vermiculite to hold that moisture in. Because the other reason I was getting some rot in my cilantro was because my seeds were drying. So it's interesting. Like it just, I guess it just kind of depends on your grow room. Um, I was having a lot of problems with other things, seeds rotting out or drying out and then rotting because they didn't germinate correctly. And then uh, I added vermiculite and they're great. Now that it's spring, I'm needing that less. And I'm getting mold because I have too much moisture. So it all boils down to what's your um, your uh, your grow room climate. So anyway, I'm back to this. Here we go. That's the next step in the evolution of how to actually get good results from cilantro as a uh, regular microgreens grower like us. So uh, that's all I got, man. So I uh, nice uh, 11, 12 minute video. I'll probably cut this down a little, I guess. I don't know. I'm bad at editing, so I probably just put this shit right up. Uh, there's been a lot going on. I'll uh, do some more videos soon. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a while since I put a video up, but you know it's been a it's been a long, strange trip, man. So <laughs> so uh, that's all you get, I guess. But thank you for your support. And uh, anybody who's been checking out my Amazon affiliate link, that's great. I really appreciate that. That is somebody bought a ton of pumps, so that was awesome. So uh, oh, Alexa, Alexa, stop. She listens. Take it easy.